In today's video, we're going to break down five reasons why you should not be getting yourself a Boston Terrier. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist. I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible little Boston Terrier, then how to become a high-level canine leader that raises perfect Boston Terrier companions. So if you're a lifelong Boston Terrier lover or just thinking about getting your first Boston Terrier puppy, I promise you this channel is for you. So start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification, bell so that you never miss a future Boston Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video. We're going to break down five reasons why you should not be getting yourself a Boston Terrier. And we're going to start off with the first reason why you shouldn't be getting a Boston Terrier and it is the most serious one and it will take some time to go through it since it affects not only your personal economy but also more importantly your dog's health. And what I am talking about is some of the most important things for the dog to function. The Boston Terrier is not the only breed with these problems. Most dogs with very short noses experience some of these issues and unfortunately it affects the dog in more ways than we can imagine simply at first glance. Now the most important thing you need to know has to do with how the Boston Terrier is built, especially with its head. It is normally wide but shorter on the front which means the nose has that squash look and while you may think it is cute, it is actually very unhealthy. What it means is that all the soft tissue that fits into a normal sized dog's head needs to fit into the Boston Terrier's smaller face. It should be obvious this doesn't necessarily work out too well. One of the effects is that these dogs more often than not have a very hard Hard time breathing. In fact, they have such a hard time breathing, you are likely to notice it even when they're resting. To give you an example of what it can be like for one of these brassiophallic dog breeds, I recommend taking a straw and try and breathe through a straw for 30 minutes and you'll see that there's not really that much fun. The breed also has some problems with their eyes. Some of the females can have difficulty giving birth to their puppies naturally. C-section is very common within the breed and they can even develop various brain tumors, usually as adults. Now, there are surgical solutions to at least some of these health issues and that leads us then into insurances as some insurance companies depending usually on where you live does not include these health issues in your insurance policy which means you have to pay for them yourself when you take the dog to the vet to be treated for any of these issues therefore it's really important you should be aware of that it could cost you a lot more money to go with a boston terrier than it might do with many other breeds Sorry to quickly interrupt the video guys, but I've just got to let you know that today's video is brought to you by our very own bootcamp protocol. As a canine behaviorist, I've helped thousands of people be able to restructure their relationships with their dog, how to become a high level canine leader that can then address any behavior difficulties themselves to get to that point of having a perfect canine companion. So if you want my help with addressing any difficult behaviors you might be having with your dog, a link to our bootcamp program is down in the description box below. So you can go check it out. There's tons of testimonials on the website website it might be exactly what you're looking for but we'll get straight back to the video you were just watching now going into our next point which is somewhat related to the boston terrier's breathing ability is that if you do choose to get yourself a boston terrier for a pet it is worth being aware that they do tend to snore really heavily their breathing can also be quite noisy due to those tight nostrils narrow trachea etc etc that we've mentioned before and a boston terrier is also very prone to flatulence this happens because they swallow air when they're eating because of their brassiophallic nature and that gas has to go somewhere if you dislike the sound or smell of a flatulent dog then this again very well may be worth considering it can be helped by feeding your Boston Terrier raw food rather than kibble or dry food and try and help sure that you make sure the dog doesn't eat too quickly so that takes us on to our next issue with the Boston Terrier and that's around heat intolerance and exercise. Now as mentioned earlier the Boston Terrier has difficulty controlling their body heat due to those breathing problems that we just mentioned. This means if you want a dog to be able to go and take long brisk walks and even more so in the hot summer days this is not the breed for you. By doing so you could potentially kill the dog albeit by accident and obviously nobody would want that for any owner. 
Now, the next thing you might want to reconsider about this breed is the Boston Terrier is a stubborn dog. If you want your dog to beg to do what you ask of it, then the Boston Terrier is not the dog for you. They need consistency, clear direction, and to understand that you mean what you say, and persistence to actually perform the tasks that you ask for them. Patience is a key word for you with this breed, and if it's something that you know you lack, perhaps a more easily trained dog might be a better choice for you. Which takes us into our last difficulty with the Boston Terrier, and that has to be said that they are renowned for being difficult to toilet train. If you live in an apartment on the fifth floor, this may be a reason to worry. It takes time to run up and down those stairs, and you may have to uh, run countless times a day for a very long time, months perhaps. If you are one of those people who likes things to be quick, especially with toilet training, perhaps a Boston Terrier should fall down a few steps on your potential list of which dog breed should be the perfect that one for you. Now I know that was a little bit negative and don't worry we are going to do five reasons why you absolutely should get a Boston Terrier where we'll be able to talk about some more of the incredible positives of this glorious breed that I promise you I absolutely adore. So if you did find this video at least a little bit entertaining or informational make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss a future Fenrir Boston Terrier show video.